Hey guys, Raptor Squad member Joe today. There you go, it's Raptor Squad member Axel today. Hey guys, Raptor Squad member JP Carnotaur here today, and today we're going to be doing a podcast about some recent news that's been going on uh, with Jurassic World. And today we have the following guests, Tony and Raptor Charlie, and they are from the Raptor Squad group chat, and you guys can join as well and maybe be featured in a podcast. Would you guys like to say hi? Hi guys. Greetings. And we also have Bryce, who is uh, coming back to the Raptor Squad. Want to say hi, Bryce? Hey, what's up, guys? And finally, we have Smithy. And would you like to say hi, Smithy? Hello, everybody. And so we're going to be doing the order where we all ask four different questions, starting with Joey, and then we'll give some input, and the guests will also give their input. So... You ready to start, Joey? Um, yeah, so my first question is, um, what's your guys' speculation about the final fight, that's ru- the fight that's rumored to take place at the end between Rexy and the Indominus? My second question is, what will happen to the Raptors? My third question is, is there any species not shown in the trailers? And my last question is, are there more hybrids besides the Indominus? So, starting with Tony, what are your thoughts on this? Like in the final fight speculation, is like, I think they will, the fight will be awesome. The T-Rex will definitely win. They will destroy it, like Main Street, definitely. And the second question, what will happen to the Raptors is, I think Blue will survive, uh, Echo will die, and the rest, I don't know. Then, is there any species not shown in the trailers? I think the Edmontosaurus and the Baryonyx. And I don't know, and I don't think so, there are any more hybrids in the movie besides Indominus. Okay, so now moving on to Bryce, what are your thoughts on this? Well, the final fight, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be T-Rex and I-Rex, but T-Rex is going to get some help with some old friends. I, I kind of know what happens, but I, not the whole thing. I just know she gets help uh, from some other source. I'm not going to say what, though. But, but yeah, she's going to get some help, and I'm not going to say who the winner <laughs> is, but I think everyone's going to be happy. Uh, what will happen to the Raptors? I think that possibly two of them will die, and I think those two may be Blue and Delta. I'm not sure how they'll die, but they may die somehow. Um, any species not shown in the trailers? Yeah, I've heard lots of species aren't shown in, in any of the trailers yet, so we have a lot to look forward to uh, when this film hits theaters next in the next two weeks. Um, any more hybrids? I don't think there's any more hybrids other than the Indominus Rex. The Stegoceratops, I believe, was just for the toy line, so yeah, I think the Indominus may be the only hybrid other than the other Indominus that was killed. So, yeah. Okay, so, Smithy, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, well, I've said this before, but T-Rex <laughs> versus Indominus Rex, but I think the Mosasaurus has got something to play in the final scene because we've got Main Street right next to the lake, uh, so I'm sure that Main Street's going to feature in some way or other, like the buildings, more than just what we've seen. We've just had a little glimpse of IREX in the Main Street itself, so a, a dinosaur that big in Main Street is going to cause a bit of havoc. Uh, so we'll wait and see. I don't. I think it's planned. We we know there's going to be Jurassic World 2, so like previous versions of JP, they will keep some dinosaurs back. So. I'm not sure. I would like to see a Spinosaurus, but I don't think it's going to be in this this one. But I would hope it would be in the next Jurassic World 2. And what was the third question? It was a long time ago. <laughs> um, do you think there will be any species not shown in the trailers? Yeah, uh, just a Spinosaurus, really. Oh, well, not actually in it. No. I don't think so. I think we'll just stick to the main characters, Raptors, I-Rex, and uh, T-Rex. 
Okay, so now moving on to Raptor Charlie, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I, I think there's like a 100% chance at the Rex winning. And um, but for like reasons such as like in the soundtrack, uh, I think what the third. Okay, so now I'm going to hand this over to Axel. Okay, so following me up, I also have a full question about the movie. And these are kind of old questions, but I'd love to talk more in depth about that. Okay, so my first question is, uh, what are your thoughts on Rexy reprising her role in the film? And uh, I'm going to start but with uh, letting Tony share his thoughts on this. So, Tony, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Rexy will have, I think... Austin Donimus, the biggest role in the movie. Like, it will be on the end, it will, we will see, like, the T-Rex a lot of time. It's not like that, in a trade they didn't show nothing, but it's gonna be an important role. Okay, how about you, Bryce? Um, okay, so, Rexy, I think she's gonna be probably teased at the beginning of the film, we may see her once, and then she'll break out and probably maybe kill some people and dinosaurs and then get recaptured based off the Lego set and then at the end of the film she's going to be let out again to fight the Indominus Rex Alright, how about you Smitty? Uh, well of course I've seen that picture that was released by uh, on the Instagram and you've seen it as well where you've got a picture of uh, T-Rex sitting on the mm-hmm sitting on the helipad or literally on the helipad overlooking the whole uh, visitor area. Mm-hmm. So uh, I've seen that picture and it, it looks pretty real uh, and it's the guy that's working on the film as well. So, yeah, it's uh, I would love to see that, uh, to be honest. And uh, I think that's what I think is going to happen, really. Uh, T-Rex is going to come down. Not as It's definitely not going to have the big as role as the baddie, the evil baddie sort of thing, which is Irex, but... Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna come in and save the day, save the island, and bring it back to uh, Dinosaur Island. <laughs> yeah, I think Rexy's still gonna be like a hero in the other Jurassic World towards the end, I mean, just like where she was in the first yeah. film, where she ca- killed the Velociraptors to save the other survivors. Uh, I think we're gonna see an upgrade of signature war coming from her after she killed the Indominus Rex. I'm assuming she does, but it's not confirmed if she, if she will. Okay, so my second question here is, uh, what's your favorite raptor out of the four, out of Blue, Charlie, Delta, and Echo, and what are your thoughts on the raptor training? So, what are your thoughts on this, uh, Tony? I think my favorite is between Blue and Echo, because Echo is like, the guy who wants to be the girl who wants to be the leader, but after mm-hmm. after Owen, but and Blue is already the leader, but I think Echo is awesome. How the colors and everything, and then the raptor training. I think it's awesome how they do that. That they try to train the raptor. Okay, I think I asked you this uh, twice, but uh, you wanna go more in depth about it. Oh yeah, sure. Um, so my favorite raptor, that, not seeing the new clip with the raptors, I'm liking pretty much all of the raptors. But if I were to pick a favorite, it, it may be blue, just because she's, I like her colored stripe, and just because she's really vicious and second in command to Owen, so mm-hmm. she's a pretty cool raptor. And then the raptor training, uh, especially with that scene that was released like last week, it was it's really cool. It's not really training. You can see that Owen just steps out in front to try to ward them off from attacking that uh, trainee. And so, yeah, it's not really training the raptors necessarily at the beginning, but mm-hmm. you can kind of tell that they're still vicious animals and they will kill somebody if Owen isn't there to stop them. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so how about you, Smithy? Uh, raptor yeah, I have to go with Blue. Uh, Big Bad Blue, I call him, because or her, because uh, she uh, turns bad, doesn't she? So, and especially when she jumps into the truck uh, and some of the other scenes that she's in. So it's a bit sad. Some of them will have to die, but we'll wait and see. 
I think, uh, but Blue's by far my favourite. Okay. How about you, Raptor Charlie? Um, the one that has been standing out to me most would probably be Charlie, but that's just because that's my name, so. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, probably Charlie would be my favorite. And my thoughts on the Raptor training. It seems like it's not much of training, but more of a friendship between Owen. And so, yeah, I don't really look at it as training. Okay. So my third question here is, what are you most excited about for the film? So, how about you, Tony? The most thing I'm excited about is the end, the final battle between the Irex and the T-Rex. It's just going to be so amazing. That's just so awesome. I can't wait. Neither can I. It's going to be so great. How about you, Bryce? Well, I'm just, I'm just excited that the film is going to be a great film based off the reviews of yesterday's world premiere at Paris and all the positive reviews 10 out of 10 reviews of the film i'm just i'm so excited to see this film and now knowing that the film is good it makes me even more excited about it so just seeing this film i've been following it for since day 500 plus and now we're down to two weeks and the film's a great film i'm just i'm beyond excited for this film how about you smithy well as most people know or people have seen i've watched all 25 tv spots i've seen the seven trailers five special features and all the other bits and pieces as well and uh, i just want to soak it up i just can't wait to just sit in the cinema and because i like watching good films over and over again and even though i've seen many of the clips over and over you still see new bits you still get new bits to see and mm -hmm. yeah, i'm just looking forward to soaking up the film and seeing how they piece it all together and i think we're all in anticipation for the final the final 20 minutes so someone said on twitter last night that saw the, the film there's no secrets coming out but they're saying the last 20 minutes is a cinematic uh piece of art piece of piece of art piece of work fantastic and then the other guys and girls are just saying wow what a film what a film uh so we'll, i'm just looking forward to that and i'm looking forward to the final final the final blast as it is and see who gets involved <laughs> that's it really okay how about you raptor charlie all right i'm really excited to see them hunting down the irex to see how they like handle it and how they handle the tyrannodon breakout kind of how like they're picking everyone up and stuff like that and probably the final scene where the T-Rex fights the I-Rex final showdown. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this, this whole entire film is going to be amazing. It's just been so amazing also. But it's so close. There's only two weeks left, pretty much like Bryce said. And my final question here is, uh, what creature do you want to see in the sequel? Whether it be a, a new dinosaur species, or a uh, reptile, there's another dinosaur in particular, or a movie reptile. And also, we have to speed it up uh, a little bit. So, how about you, Tony? I might. Utsuvaptor or the Carnotaurus? I just can't wait to see them. Rice? Well, since they're introducing some new pterosaurs and the aquatic. Uh, creatures. I think in sequels we should see more of them just branch off into different species of pterosaur and different marine reptiles. Uh, I think there's a lot of them they could actually introduce along with some you know, carnivores and herbivores that are obvious that they can always bring in. Um, Carnotaurus being one, Allosaurus being another. Just a lot of different creatures that they could bring in. So yeah, it opens up a lot of windows for sequels and what they could create. Smoothie? Well, one of my favourite Spinosaurus, so I will gladly see that being brought into it. I think they can, yeah, I think they can 
there's oh, there's hundreds of species in there they can bring in, but uh, Spinosaurus, uh, maybe some of the other car- uh, carnivores as well. Uh, there's different types of carnivores you could bring in next time. Smaller ones, a lot of the smaller ones. Tell us more, we used to raptor Charlie. Um, definitely the carnivore. I really want to see him in one of the films. <laughs> and probably the Trodons would be pretty cool. Okay, so those are my questions. So we're going to try to speed up more and I'm going to have a show to Nick now. Okay, so I have four questions mainly revolving around the merchandise and the new Lego game, but my first question here is, after the fourth Lego game trailer, now we can see some of the Lego hybrid dinosaurs you can create, so how do you feel about that, and which creation would you want to make? And let's start with Tony. Yeah, about the hybrid game, that's just awesome. And probably I will make uh, one between the the T-Rex, the Spinosaurus, and, a, and the Raptor. Because those are my three favorite dinosaurs of the movies we see. Okay, now how about you, Bryce? Well, I, I really like the hybrid idea. You can finally bring in the like Ultima Source ideas um, from way back in the day in nineteen ninety in the nineteen nineties. So you can really bring those in and it's really cool i probably make a dilophosaurus raptor and stegosaurus hybrid just because it'd be really cool looking a small fast moving spitting carnivore really really cool how about you smithy uh steg try is it stegotops (laughs) i'd like to join stegosaurus and triceratops to be honest like in the one of the models the toy models that have come out uh, that's yeah, Carnotaurus and a, and a Velociraptor. <laughs> I take it we'll be able to do a sort of Irex uh, T Rex uh, mixture as well, maybe. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then what about you, Raptor Charlie? Um, I think the hybrid idea is definitely a great addition to the game, and I think I want to try to recreate the Ultimasaurus from the. Uh, Chaos Effect line. I think it consists of Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, Triceratops, and uh, Velociraptor, I think. Yeah, and there's a few more, like Ankylosaurus in there. So that'll be one of the things I try to recreate as well. So my next thing is the toys have officially been released. I know that because I pretty much have every single one. Uh, So if you guys have them, which one are you buying? So let's start with Tony. Uh, I do. I like like all of them except the how you say the. Now basically, I like like all of them. Then especially the dry shift the uh, Irex. I've got that one as well. So and the Stegosaurus. He's awesome as well. She's awesome. I mean. Okay. What about you, Bryce? Oh, I'm kind of up there with you, Nick. I pretty much have all of them as well. I just got uh, two of Wave 2 yesterday, for the Allosaurus and Pachycephalosaurus. So what I really am looking forward to is the Mosasaurus, though. I'm really, really excited for that. And, yeah, I just really want that figure, too. The Indominus Rex is probably my favorite, along with a lot of other people's. It's just a really, really good made figure. Um, but all the other ones I, I like a lot. I don't think I have, like, a worst one, even though they're not as good as they could be. They're still pretty cool. Okay, how about you, Smithy? Uh, I'm a Lego Lego guy, so the, I want the Lego sets, to be honest. Uh, however, uh, interestingly enough, uh, one of the model manufacturers has been bringing out Baryonyx. It was on Twitter last night about it. Uh, I've forgotten which one now of the, of the proper realistic models. Uh, is it Pac- Paco... Pabo. Pabo. Pabo, yeah. Bringing out Baryonyx. So I'd like to see that. So the only... Uh, I'll buy um, Lego and the model that I really want is the Mosasaur, but I wouldn't buy one of the toy ones. I'd buy one of the more realistic models of the Mosasaur. 
Okay, what about you, Raptor Charlie? Um, I'm going to start collecting the Legos before the Hasbro figures, and uh, I think sometime this week I'm going to be getting the Raptor Rampage and the Raptor Escape sets. Very cool. So, our third question is, uh, or thoughts on this, is all the new merchandise commercials. We've seen Dairy Queen, we've seen the Hero Mashers, the Lego. You know, they're really starting to brand a lot of new toys and merchandise and stuff. So, what are your thoughts on all of those? So, let's start with Tony. I think it's, they are all awesome. It just reminds me of my childhood watching TV and saw this on the TV. And I think the Lego one is just the best with the IRX escape of the paddock and try to catch them with the T-Rex trucker. I love all of them. How about you, Bryce? Uh, yeah, I like all the the merchandising and the commercial advertising they're doing on all the toys and stuff. It's Every time you watch a TV show, it's on. So it's really cool. I think the Dairy Queen commercial is probably one of the funniest ones uh, with the Pteranodons attacking everybody and the guy's just saying inside, he's like, well, uh, I'll stay here and eat it in here while everyone else is getting attacked outside. It's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> so, yeah, and the, the Hero Masters one is pretty cool, too. That's like a kid's commercial, so that's a cute one. But, yeah, I like all the advertising. Okay, how about you, Smith? Uh, well, uh, I haven't seen really – I've seen the Dairy Queen adverts and I've seen some of the other adverts, but – I think it's just about to kick in. I think now they've had the premiere, I think the the uh, lead is off this week and next week. So I'll wait to see what... We haven't seen anything from McDonald's, have we? Well, I haven't. Yeah, it's surprising. Either McDonald's or Burger King, because they did do Jurassic Park toys. And yeah. Nice there. So it's a bit... A bit bit uh, a bit I think some of the companies have still got to come online yet, but we'll just keep our eye out and watch them, really. Yeah, I mean, new stuff's popping up every day. There are now Jurassic World Pringles out there, so you know, there's a <laughs> lot of merchandise. Okay, so what are your thoughts, Raptor Charlie? Um, I think the commercial starting to pop up is really great. I remember how excited I was when I uh, first saw the Dairy Queen commercial. And uh, I really like them because I'm just realizing, like, now that all the movies before it like Avengers 2 and stuff are finally out of the way so now we have like the dawning of Jurassic World very true so there's one final question for this podcast and that is about a thing that I think a lot of people want to know about is the Irex hatchling from the TV spot how creepy that TV spot was I mean the Indominus as a child would give me nightmares and it's not even a full grown adult so how do you feel about this Tony yeah, that was very, very creepy. First time I saw it, I was like, is it really Jurassic World? It was, that, it was very creepy and awesome at the same time as well. I can't wait for that scene of the movie. What about you, Bryce? Yeah, that's a really cool scene. Not just one Indominus Rex, there's two of them, so um, before the one gets eaten. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a really cool TV spot. It's probably my favorite one, especially the music they play in. It's really creepy. It gives me the shivers every time I hear it. Um, but yeah, it was really played out like a horror-type-esque TV spot, which I think was a really, really cool uh, idea. And they should have probably incorporated some of that in maybe the first trailer or something like that to make it like really creepy and eerie. But yeah, I, I'm hoping that's a scene in the film and not just a scene for the trailers. But um, yeah, it's a really, really cool TV spot and my favorite so far. I mean, I, I think it's easy to agree that this is the darkest Jurassic Park film we've ever had. I mean, oh, it definitely it, will it be. It just seems creepy. Yeah, definitely will be. Okay, so what are your thoughts on this, Smithy? Uh, well, I can, uh, luckily I picked it up on the uh, Canadian Universal Picture site that has been releasing some of the videos in HD sooner and you just sit there it's just iconic it is the iconic trailer for Jurassic World it just beats it beats everything else into insignificance for me it's just it's got all of it it's got Jurassic World it's got a bit of alien in it it's got a bit of fears those fears and 
funnily enough, someone's someone's come on Twitter to say this will scare your kids. <laughs> <laughs> that some of the scenes, even though it's in our country, UK, it's a PG thirteen. Oh no, sorry, it's a twelve A. So twelve A is kids younger than twelve because we don't have PG thirteen. That's an American term. So I think it's a twelve A. So it'll be interesting to see whether we get anything cut out of ours. But I'm sure. It will scare the 12 and 11 year olds that go and watch it. I mean, I'm 14 and I'll probably be petrified watching the Indominus. <laughs> I mean, it, it definitely is a, a very scary looking creature. So, finally, how about you, Raptor Charlie? What are your thoughts on this? Um, I have mixed feelings about it, and I'll explain why. So, first, it's a great commercial a trailer. And, yeah, like you guys said, pretty creepy for a commercial. And the reason why I have mixed feelings about it is I was hoping that would be more of a surprise because I, like, walked in on the trailer by accident. So I was, like, really, like, happy to see the trailer, but disappointed at the same time, if that makes sense. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I mean, that's definitely something that you want to have as a surprise in the film. Right. But of course, with Mark, you have to get the big stuff out there for people to be. Yeah, it's uh, still a though. Yeah, it was. So that's it for me. Uh, does anybody else have any other questions or thoughts? I don't think so. Okay, well, I'd like to thank all of our guests for joining us today in this podcast. Uh, and we hope to have you guys back soon. Um, that's it for me. So Raptor Squad member JP Carnotaur signing off. Yeah, thank you guys for joining. This is Raptor Squad member Axel signing off. This is Raptor Squad member Joey signing off.